All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Math Lesson 53, where we're taking a step back from numbers and algorithms, diving back into geometry. Today, we are all about perimeter and measures of a circle. So, the distance around a polygon, and if you remember, the definition of a polygon is any flat, enclosed shape made out of line segments is the perimeter. The distance all the way around is the perimeter. You might hear me say that when we play silent ball. It has to cross the perimeter of your desk. If you throw a ball and it just goes along the side of it, that's not the perimeter. The distance around the polygon. And a couple other things. You might hear the terms width and length thrown around and just wanted you to know that the length is always considered the longer side. And the width of a quadrilateral, in this case, is always the shorter side. So to find the perimeter of a polygon, add the length of all sides together. Even if they just give you two numbers, the most common mistake Kids will say, oh, the perimeter here is 8. Well, no, you only added two sides together. You go this side is 6 plus this side is 2. Well, this side here is also 6. And this side here is also 2. So it would actually be 16, right? Because 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 would be 16 inches. But you can also find the perimeter of a quadrilateral this way. Using the formula P equals 2L plus 2W. Huh? Well, P just stands for perimeter. A number next to a variable means to multiply. Remember that? 2L simply means 2 times the length, plus 2W means 2 times the width. So let's break it down right now if we were using this guy. 2 times the length. We said the length was 6. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 times the width. Well, the width here was 2. 2 times 2, yeah, that's 4. 12 plus 4, that's going to give us 16 inches, right? So the choice is really up to you. If you can understand this formula, that's how they're going to start talking about it later on. P equals 2L plus 2W. But if that's too much to wrap your brain around, just remember, add all the sides. So you might come across some problems like this. What is the perimeter of this rectangle? And no, the answer is not 6. You have to go 4 plus 2 plus another 4 plus another 2. Or you could go 2L plus 2W, your choice. So 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 2 more is 10, plus the final 2, that sounds to me like the perimeter of this quadrilateral or this rectangle is 12 centimeters, right? What is the perimeter of the square? And some people say they only gave us one side, Mr. Hines, but they told you it's a square, which means all four sides are equal. That side is 8, and that side is 8, and this last side is 8. So if I have four sides 8 inches long, it sounds to me like the perimeter would be 32 inches, don't you think? So another piece of vocabulary we want to talk about is regular polygons and what they mean in the geometry world by this word regular 
is any polygon with all equal angles and sides. So usually on a regular polygon, they're only going to give you one side. But you should know that that means this side is 5 millimeters, and this other side is 5 millimeters, and this other side is 5, this side is 5, and this side is 5. So, to find the perimeter, you can add all sides. I could go 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. I could add that 5 six times. Or I could just go 6 times 5, right? And that's going to give us 30 millimeters. 30 millimeters because you add all the sides to find the perimeter. So what is the perimeter of a regular pentagon if one side is four inches long? Well, if that side is four on a regular pentagon, that means this side is four, and this third side here would be four inches, and over here would be four inches because he's regular, and this side here would also be four inches. So I could go 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. I could add that 4 5 times. Or I could just go 5 times 4, right? And 5 times 4, hopefully you know, that's going to give us 20 inches. So a little more terminology I want to talk about. This can all be found on page 341 of your book. So the first one is called the circumference. And what the circumference is, is kind of like the perimeter of a circle. But circles can't really have perimeters because they're not polygons. They're not made out of straight line segments. So anytime you're talking about the distance around a circle, that's the circumference. And then we also have the diameter. The diameter is the distance across a circle through its center. And lastly, we have this one, the radius. And what the radius is, is the distance from the center of a circle to the side. Basically, the distance halfway across a circle. Are you ready? So, you might see some problems like this. If the diameter of the circle is 12 feet, what's the radius? So, remember, diameter is the distance all the way across a circle through its center. So it's 12 feet all the way across, and they want to know what's the radius. Well, to find a radius, if they give you the diameter, just take the diameter and divide it by 2. So if I have 12 all the way across, divide that by 2, and the radius is going to be 6 feet, right? Half of 12 feet is 6 feet. Let's try it the other way. If the radius of a circle is 10 inches, what's the diameter? So 10 inches from the center of a circle to the edge. So the radius is 10 inches. And they want to know what the diameter is all the way across through the center. So to find the diameter, if they're giving you the radius, you just take the radius and times it by 2. What's 10 times 2? That's going to give us 20, won't it? And that, my friends, is the end. Nothing too, too, too terribly difficult, although you might want to have your book open up to page 341 and have a scratch sheet of paper. Good luck.